Welcome to the next of our videos with an SEMA E3 Enterprise Strategy paper. All those videos are based on our Express Notes, which you can download from www.theexpgroup.com. We are in Chapter 2 of those notes and we will discuss strategy formulation and development. And in particular, in this video, we will look at Porter's generic strategies. Now this bit is on page 19 in the notes and I'm sure most of you have some knowledge of those generic strategies. If anyone knows anything about Porter, they will always be able to quote that there is a cost leadership differentiation and focus strategy. Now, these generic strategies were developed by Porter after years of his research into what companies do. And he was able to come up with the two basic strategies and number three, which just explains the market focus. So these two, cost leadership or differentiation, are the real strategies, while that market segmentation is a choice that the company can make, and within that choice that company will still either be a cost leader or a differentiator. But let's explain. Cost leadership strategy is obviously, uh, or aims at, providing the product or services with lowest prices or lowest price to value ratio. We don't need to be the cheapest. We need to be the cheapest within the product that we offer, within the value that we offer. So uh, in order to be cheap, we don't need to manufacture the cheapest car in the market, we want to have the cheapest model in every single um, line of cars or type of cars, but still, obviously, our posh car will be more expensive than somebody else's uh, B-class car. So uh, lowest price or lowest price to value, how do we achieve that? Well, if we want to charge low prices, then we need to make sure that our cost base is low. Now, who would be the best example of it? I'm sure you all know it. Uh, discount shops, uh, which have a lot of own labels. Right, all the own label products, there is absolutely zero marketing effort, zero brand building effort, cheapest ingredients, very simple distribution because it's a known label, so the distribution is uh, predetermined, and that all reduces the cost base, leading to being able to charge low prices. That's cost leadership strategy. Another strategy, or the other strategy, could be the differentiation, or is the differentiation strategy. Uh, within this strategy, we're trying to charge higher prices because we present our product as different to the product of competitors. Obviously, the, the example is Mercedes, or Apple, the classic examples, right? Apple charges more for their phones because they create an atmosphere in which the owner of Apple feels as a better person. Mercedes-Benz, the same rule, right? You drive a Mercedes-Benz and it makes you a better person in your own eyes. Um, it doesn't have to be cars or computers, because if you go to a um, department store or to any shop, actually, you will find a number of products which are also aimed at satisfying those needs. You will find them in cosmetics, 
you'll find them in food right you buy certain brands of food because you feel better when they are on your table that is because someone tried to differentiate them from the others um, recently differentiation is one of the methods which is mo which has most commonly been used by multinationals they create international brands and promote them in their markets in the 1980s the complete revolution in the food industry was the company called parmalat which was then famous for something else for a corporate scandal but in 1980s they were the first ones to manufacture branded milk before that in Italy people said well milk is just milk it doesn't matter what milk you drink because it all comes from a cow yeah. so there was no such thing as a differentiation within milk now Parmalat was the first one to brand their milk as Parmalat milk which was supposed to be better than other milk and it was very successful they managed to charge higher prices thanks to this differentiation obviously when you do that you have to target a certain segment of customers you will be targeting those that actually care you will be targeting those that care about the quality of their lives um, that want to stand out from the crowd and you offer these brands to them then you got the brand leaders and the brand followers right these people will be reactive to a differentiation strategy now the last of those that Porter came up with was the uh, focus and he said it wasn't really a strategy but it's more of a scope a focus approach means that from the very beginning you target a small well small or large but still a market niche you focus all your efforts on that niche that could be the blondes that could be the um, elderly people but you focus all your efforts on this niche and within that niche you will still apply cost leadership strategy or differentiation but your approach to the market does not assume going out and offering the product to everyone and trying to fish for those that want to differentiate or to these that care about low prices but instead from the very beginning you define a closed market and you offer your products to this market only now the example I came up with for this was the Pagani brand it's actually a car manufacturer not many people know they exist because they manufacture sports cars you could call it a sports car except that you probably had never seen one of those uh, they're very rare they cost enormous money and they are only offered to people who are absolutely crazy about cars so uh, they define their niche they build their product which is still a differentiator and they offer this product to this niche only